Hello, everybody, and welcome back to season two of the Margaret Memorial Library podcast. Teen podcast. Chatting with TAC. Chatting. It's been chatting with TAC since January. Why does nobody remember haven't, that? Haven't you been doing this for a long time? Hey, I came up with that name. I said yeah. chatting. I said chatting yes, with Tack. Cool. You did. You should be chatting with Tack. That's so cute. Um, anyways, you may recognize me from last season. I was the vice president, and now I am the community manager and the treasurer. I could not tell you how much money we have, but I know it's a good amount. Mm-hmm. Um, what I'm up to this year is my new opinion, or a new position. <laughs> Basically nothing. I have not gone to a single meeting yet, because I've had sports. Anyways, this yeah. is Sam. Um, you Sam. will not know me, um, because Project. I'm new. <laughs> you have to talk loud. You have to be like, loud. loud. Yes. yes. Um... Otherwise, we gotta put the microphone in front of the tablet, yeah. and that doesn't work. <laughs> um, so I am new here. I joined TAC in August. Probably yeah, during recruitment, recruitment season. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I joined in August. Um, because my friend was the president. Um, and my other friend was the historian. So. And vice president. She's also. Oh, vice and president. vice president too. I was the vice president. <laughs> and then I was the president. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> Can't quit. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, you're mostly so. interim president just to get us through the summer. It was, if if it was gonna happen, it was a good time to happen because it was the end of the year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Uh, I I guess I like books. Um. What's TAC like so far? Um. Yeah. What do you think about us? <laughs> be honest, um, but be nice. <laughs> Well, if you okay. can do both at the same it's, time, <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to have both at the same time to be kind and to be honest. But so what? far, I'm liking it. Um, uh, it's nice to spend a lot of time with my friends outside of school. Um, it's nice to have a place to get homework done that isn't as <laughs> distraction filled as home. Um, uh, and I enjoy all the stuff we've been doing, all the meetings, all the. Um, movie nights, the planning, all that. Way so, to plug us. It's been what nice. Nice. I would have um, never said something half as nice. <laughs> I would have been like, um, I like Ashley. <laughs> I'm a seventh grader. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was it for a while. Jamie yeah. brings Twizzlers to meetings, and I like Twizzlers, so mm-hmm. that's what I'm into. I mean, I do like Twizzlers, so. Um, and the food, uh, it's... Even though it's a library, the food is pretty good. Um, so this is I like to eat. I buy yeah. good snacks. Mm. So you should come, join, eat, watch some movies with us, and have a fun time. Yeah. Unless you are someone who lives in, like, Cambodia. <laughs> you cannot get to us. I feel like if they're in, in Cambodia, they're not watching. In case. Like, just appreciate it from afar. If you are in <laughs> Cambodia and you're watching... We are sorry we can't help Comment you. Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below if you're watching from Cambodia, and we will give you a shout-out in the next episode. Comment down below. <laughs> All right, so moving on from introductions. Hi, Jamie's here, too. Oh. You just can't see me. <laughs> yeah, Jamie's here, too. She the, runs the show from behind the scenes. Thank does you, Does way Jamie. more than I do. Does my job. But it's okay, because I... You've you know, been busy. I have been busy. Eventually, you'll be less busy, right? Not anytime soon. That's what I was afraid of. starting and Oliver starting. And like I thought that it was going to be over, but now it's just beginning again. <laughs> That's usually so, how it seems to work. How did your Oliver audition go? Good. It went good. I think that I did good. Hopefully. I sang my little heart out and Miss McCall told me that I had a nice voice. And then I did, I feel like I did good in the acting part because they gave me an, an appraising look. Oh. An appraising Ooh. look. Nice. So, hopefully I get the part that I want, and I can die. So that's why I just am really invested in dying. Wait, so you apply for a part who who dies yes, because you want to die? Yeah, on stage. Like, that does not, does not, not sound fun to you. Like, <laughs> I, I get to collapse. It, it does sound pretty fun. In the full-length musical, I actually am strangled <laughs> the part that I want to go for, that I want to be. She's strangled to death. But in this one, I think she just gets pushed to the ground. 
Oh, probably it's a junior version. Sustainably less dramatic Aren't than we like Darren Bates. Though? I watched <laughs> you in our murder mystery use a spool of red ribbon like the rabbit from Zootopia to die <laughs> dramatically. <laughs> I feel like yeah. if you get the part and all you have to do is be pushed over, you will still die dramatically. It will yeah. be fantastic. <laughs> I remember that. Blaze put me put me in a cart and wheeled me out. <laughs> I feel like your entire acting direction was. Rabbit from Zootopia. <laughs> Probably. Southern <laughs> rabbit from oh, Zootopia. Blood, 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 blood. And death. Basically, that yes, that was, was it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are we working on? We have a full schedule. Hug. Congrats, everybody. We're back from COVID. Yay! Mostly. Don't jinx it. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, knock on wood somewhere. Ever. <laughs> All right. Um, we have had some really good programs. I haven't been to all of them, but apparently recruitment night was a success because we have like a million new members. <laughs> we have 20 people. We have a full, full council. That has never We happened. have enough people to overthrow a government. Maybe. No. We don't have time for that. <laughs> True. We're too busy making flyers for all of our movie nights. We have movie nights. Movie they are very nights. fun. We watched In the Heights like a couple weeks ago. And we're going to be watching Framed Beetlejuice. Beaky Beetlejuice. <laughs> Framed Beaky. <laughs> Beetlejuice. We decided on Beetlejuice. I, my favorite movie after. is Framed Beaky. I couldn't Beaky. remember if it was Frank and Weenie or Beetlejuice. I'm sorry. I knew Frank and Weenie Frank was Frank and Weenie got page. outvoted. Okay. Frank and Weenie is a good movie. Yes. It is a good movie. I like it better than Beetlejuice. Don't tell Beetlejuice I said that. Oh, I love Beetlejuice. It's always been one of my favorites. I, I, I haven't seen... How have you Beetle not Juice? seen Beetlejuice? <laughs> because I didn't watch movies as a kid. Oh. Um, we'll know. fix that. So, there has been good stuff. We've had, like, a writers and artists workshop that I didn't go to because I was busy. And we had a book club that I didn't go to because I was busy. But I also <laughs> heard that it worked out pretty well and that we had some good participation. We did. I think we had six people that night. Everybody talked at least a little bit about at least one thing they'd read good, good, before good. we delved into side conversations about everything. Which is pretty good for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't have one person talking for the entirety of the evening. And so and then um at most of the events we've had, um, where it's a a whole T A C type of event, we've had probably a a good portion of the people in T A C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's good involvement. Yeah. Good attendance. Good participation. Yes. Um, yeah, so we're doing pretty good. What are we looking forward to, though? Because we have more things coming up in October. We do, yes. We have another Writers and Artists Workshop Club thing. So if you need just, like, a place to do your homework, you want to, like, brainstorm some ideas, you want to, like, draw, you want to, I don't know, write a story, like, just come to Writers and Artists Club Workshop thing. Um, it's basically just a free-for-all. Yes, it's the first Monday of the month at 5.30. We meet here in the Storytime Room, and we always have at least a couple of prompts on the board. Yeah. And then if you're lucky, Doesn't Jamie will map. throw candy at you. So I usually yeah. only do that at book club. Sometimes. You but should sometimes do it. I do it at everything else, too. It depends on how annoying you are. Um, so book Be club, very annoying. Book club is no longer book club. It is book bunch. It is, yes. Teen book bunch. Teen book bunch. You don't. It's not a club. Like you're not, You don't have to be there every time. And we have different themes. And this next one's theme is... Spooky, spooky stories, stories and authors and so you got like so like so like for Halloween yeah so like if you ever read a scary book that you liked I know I have um I couldn't tell you off the top of my head yeah. but I, I have read books. scary um actually I read the House of Salt and Sorrows earlier this year or actually earlier this school year it was the first book I read this school year it was very good very good I can't remember who it was by but it was like a horror romance fantasy kind of thing. It was really good. So I would recommend It's got it. a good title. It, yeah. Yes, it was good. It was very good. Um, Halloween party. I'm excited for this one. Halloween party. Um, that's fun. this Monday, the 11th, at 5.30. Oh, right, because I can't go. <laughs> it may be after the podcast premieres, but we'll talk about it anyway. How long is it? Oh, uh, until we close. Somewhere Fair. between 7 and 8. Okay. We usually clean up home. by like seven thirty. We start cleaning up by seven thirty. Yep. So that it gets done. Yep. But yeah. Um. So that'll be fun. There's gonna be a costume contest and prizes. And I know you won't see this, but it it, it was fun probably. I wouldn't have been there because I had tennis, 
and we won't get done until super late because it's JV tournament. But that's mm. okay. Yeah, We're that's starting true. at two thirty. Good. Yeah. good luck. We're starting at two thirty, so we'll get done before dark. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. Homework helpers. It's every Wednesday. Wednesday at, at four o'clock. Four. Wednesday so at four o'clock. If you need help with your homework and you don't like you you just are unsure about something, we have like people here most of the time. Or mm-hmm. if you just want a space to do homework with some pretty nice people and some pretty funny people. And snacks. Um, and snacks. There's always snacks. That too. There are snacks. They might be downstairs, but we can always pull the card out. Yeah. Um, karaoke. Karaoke uh, was a huge hit for me. Last time we had a karaoke night, I had just broken up with my boyfriend, and I really got down and Was dirty. it that long ago that we did karaoke? Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's been a while, but I loved karaoke <laughs> nights. They were very good. They are usually a lot of fun. They are fun. I think there was one in the middle that I missed mm-hmm. in between. Mm-hmm. But yes. then March came around, so... Yeah, everything, everything um, went down that crapper. That'll be the second Wednesday of... Every other month? Of every other month. Yes. So the October month, it's, it's I think, the 13th, Wednesday the 13th, 5.30. Should be fun. That should be the same day this premieres, so if you happen to catch us oh, early yeah. enough, mm-hmm. stop by for karaoke. That, yeah, Even awesome if you don't sing, it's fun to watch the rest of them because they really get into it and Leah they get a little crazy. has never sang, and she's always just taking videos of me and Hannah. She so. hasn't? No. We're going to force her to sing. I don't sing at them either. We tried, and it, she oh, did Jamie, not want to do it. Oh, you will sing. I could try. I occasionally sing in the I background. I should bring Hannah. I think the only time I was ever caught was Blaze, <laughs> and he... He was like, well, Jamie. And I was like, yeah, nope, never mind, not singing. No, I should bring her. She can bring her little boy toy. That would be fun. She would probably, she'd be like, no, Jamie hates me. No. Jamie doesn't hate Hannah. She's dramatic. (laughs) I have to tell you about something after. Oh, okay. You love the drama, though. Yeah. Movie night is going to be Beetlejuice. We already talked about that. Beetlejuice. You say it three times, he appears. Yeah. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't say it again, it will appear. (laughs) Oh, comment down below if you can say Beetlejuice three times. <laughs> <laughs> right. Comment down below saying Beetlejuice three times and comment see Comment down below and Beetlejuice will come to your house with some Starbucks. It'll be like, do you want a unicorn drop or do you want a pink drink? Those and are my only two options. <laughs> and if you don't want either, he takes your soul. Yeah, I bet you, you you're going to enjoy that pink drink now, aren't you? <laughs> um... MML social media. I'm going to let Jamie handle that since she runs it, even though I'm supposed okay. to. Instagram is at MMTeens. We are off to a slow start this year because September really kicked my butt. Like, really kicked my butt. Um, but I think we're kind of sort of getting back into the swing of things a little bit. I did get the calendar on. I did do um, Writer's Club. I will hopefully have the Halloween party posted. We're going to try. We're going to see what happens. Um, we also have a Facebook, but teen stuff's not really on there. Nobody really, the best Facebook. place, the best place to get all of the information up to date and super current is our website, which is m, which is marvinlibrary.org slash programs slash teens. I go there. I have a bookmarked on my school Chromebook. Really? Yeah. Awesome. No, that's good. That means somebody's looking at it. That's that, that's really nice. I cannot promise that I'm just... actually looking at it. I just have it there in case I need it. Hey, that's all that counts. <gasps> I was just doing a bunch of updating and stuff. It's there for it, that so. exact reason, so. Yeah. Ooh, new books. There's a handful. Um, we there don't are know. a handful. They were donated books. We can talk about them, I but I want. Let's talk about what we're reading. Yeah, what let's are you do that. That's right probably now. a good one. I've um, been talking a lot, so. Right now, I am reading, um, something you probably have heard of and love. It's called, on dumpster diving. Oh my god. <laughs> um. We are reading this short uh, 12-page essay for our AP uh, language class called On Dumpster Diving, um, which takes you through the, the life and the work of a man who um, is, uh, has been homeless and who has to uh, go dumpster diving for his food, his clothes, um, all of the things he needs in life, and it's basically a manifesto from him on 
um, how people view um, material objects, other people, and it, it, it is a very interesting read, but it, it does get you a little upset because he is not very kind with his words, so. Quite interesting. Thoughts on, on Dumpster Diving? I'm looking at the work schedule. Oh. Um, there was an opening, and I might want to take it, so I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> um, on Dumpster Diving, it is okay, kind of boring. Um, the guy kind of makes me mad because he sounds kind of stupid, but like stupid in like a way that he's so smart that it makes me want to call him stupid, but that's okay. <laughs> like, you know, you, you will always come across people who say stuff that is so like intelligent sounding that you just get mad because they don't, like it just sounds wrong. He, he does use a lot of very um, pompous uh, language and diction, um, which... It's supposed to show that um, we can take that he's smart, but also it kind of makes him sound pretty pretentious. So, he's kind of annoying. I always want to punch those people in the face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm reading books. I have a little list. A little list of all the books that I've read this school year. We're um, a little ways through October, and I, we started in late August. Mm -hmm. So I've read not that many, honestly. It's only been like a I read that House of Salt and Sorrows, which was very good. Loved it. I read um, Wilder Girls by Rory Power, which was not that good. Kind of hated it, not going to lie. The ending Why? was kind of disappointing. Mm. Um, the characters were not that likable. Mm. They were not that oh. likable. The plot was compelling. It was a good idea. It was a good storyline, and, and it had some good LGBT Q representation, but it wasn't really like for me. I don't know. Mm. It, it, if a book has a, a bad character or bad characters, it kind of uh, makes the whole thing impossible for me to read because I read s stories for characters and their growth and um, uh, the people in the stories. So it's kind of hard to read it when the characters are trash. Yeah. Um, and then Especially I read... when they don't grow. Yeah. Like, it's okay to start out... But then, yeah. like, you gotta go like, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, go, go somewhere. somewhere. Exactly. Like, but, um, yeah. And then I read the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard, which why I would highly recommend. I loved it. There were four books. I read them in two weeks. Um, we do have all of them here. Yes, now you oh, really? do, because now they're back from when I had them. Um, <laughs> So, uh, they're there now, and they are so good. Please check them out. They're very, very good. I've heard something, people say that they didn't like them. Like, they thought it was slow. No, I like it when they're long. <laughs> I feel like this book I just read was called Rhapsodic, and it was only, like, 200 pages. I felt like it flew by. Like, plot was happening, blah, 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 blah. Like, it just was, it was just too much at once, you know? Mm. You gotta yeah. have a little bit of, like... Filler. You need to like, like drag it people. out. You gotta have some people. <laughs> Work stuff. on the pace. Work like, on the pace. Like you gotta have some like people stuff going on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, in amongst it's, all that action, it's not just it can't just plot. be like boom, 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 yeah, boom, it's boom. Not just all That's plot. what I it's appreciate about everything. Red Queen is that it, every book was like 300, 400. The last one was like six hundred pages long. That's so many pages. No, but I love books <laughs> like that. Like the longer it is, the better. You hear me? Like that's ooh, unless it's like stupid stuff. But like I felt like ooh, everything ooh, had a meaning. What's it about? Um, don't get me started. Last time someone asked me what it was about, I talked for 45 minutes. Okay, maybe don't quite talk. It's just about a fantasy world where mm. people are segregated into classes based on the color of their blood. Mm. So, like, there's people with red blood who are just regular humans. Like, they're just you and me. And then there are people with silver blood who have crazy powers. Like, Ooh. they can bend metal. They're, like, literally like the X-Men. <laughs> so. Magneto. No, there's, like, a Magneto guy. Really? And then, yeah. Oh. I mean, she's a girl, and she's oh. hot, but... <laughs> and also a lesbian, so... <laughs> and then there's also, like, super strong people, but basically your main character is, like, just a regular red girl who ends up working in the castle for the king and queen, and a mm -hmm. bunch of chaos ensues when she finds out that she's not really who she thought she was. Oh, sounds that's fun. all I'll say. And then you know things get crazy, but as they as they do, as they do, crazy enough for four books. So <laughs> you hear me, a lot of things happen. A lot of crazy. But it was very good. I really liked the main characters, and I liked the dynamics, and I liked the villain. 
He was my favorite! I can't even say his name because I was spoil it, but love him. Perfect. Perfect man. Um, <laughs> and then I just read this book called Rapsnake by Lauren Thalassa. It was okay. It was like, felt like I was reading a Wattpad story and I paid like $17 for it, so that was kind of upsetting. I was like, I was like, this is literally like Wattpad. Like, this is like the bad guy, Demon Fairy King. He's hot and muscular. Uh, and she's boy. a sweet little siren. Like, it was interesting. I feel like the next couple of um, books would be better, but I kind of lost interest, so I don't think I'm going to finish through the series. Mm. So that's a little bit upsetting, yeah. but it wasn't awful. Mm -hmm. So that's all that I'm reading right now. And then I'm going to read those Caravel books that are out there. Okay, I've heard really good things about so at least I. the first one. They're supposed to be amazing. So have I. So, you know, don't let me down. You yeah, know, I, haven't... I will suffer through anything if the first book is good. Like, when I tell you that, like, Red Queen, like, some at some point during um, King's Crown, I was just kind of like, this is boring. <laughs> but, like, you just gotta get through it. <laughs> or, no, Glass Sword. Glass Sword was the one where I was kind of like... It's like getting through the fifth Harry Potter book. It's like getting through that one um, Cassandra Clare book that you were talking about. Oh, the one I still have four <laughs> pages left! I still have, like, four <laughs> pages left in you book have four to, You have to! That I have to finish so that I can get on to the rest of them, but you I have. was like, no, I can't do you it! You have to it was, remove it was an, yourself. It was an entire book of filler. Like, it would have, it could have, it could have been like the first three chapters yeah. of the next book. It would, it would have been fine. And I was, just, I just was like, this is so annoying. I can't do it. No, I <laughs> even reading that, I was just kind of like, you really have to remove yourself from the situation with those books because like they feel like they were written for a child, but like I feel like the more they, get, the more you go on, the less it feels like it was written for a child. I feel like they have a lot of really cool like fantasy elements. Yeah. And they have a lot of really cool character development and character interactions and stuff. But that it's some not of, some of the wording in it, it is. It, it's not very childish. It's yeah. It's not written. It feels at very a, pretty. At a super high level. It's it like feels like I'm reading lower level. Yeah. It feels like I'm reading and Percy he, Jackson, but without the fun jokes. <laughs> yeah. A little um, bit, yeah. I only yeah. read one of those books, but yeah. I haven't read any of them. I love the Percy Jackson books. I read the first one, because Alexis wouldn't stop talking about them. They're so good. And then I went to read the second one, and I don't know, I got distracted by something. That was like three so years ago, so like, <laughs> we'll see what happens. They really I might someday so read them. They're delicious. No, but that Cassandra Clare book, like, there was a moment mm. in time, I think, when like, they were talking about, like, being brother and sister and still wanting to bang, and I was like, oh, oh boy. Ugh. But, like, it's okay, because they yeah, weren't actually they weren't, Yeah, they weren't really. It was a lie, oh. and it was a cheat, and it was a we're coming after you yeah. kind of thing. But then her real brother still wanted to bang her, and that was Yeah, weird. he was really weird and freaky. I've seen the, I've seen the entire <laughs> TV series, which was really good. I did really enjoy it. I need to watch that. You like should. Wars? It's really fun. I really that. like it. It's, a, it's, it's really good. I love Magnus. And it's pretty close. Uh, based on the like four books I've read. It's pretty close to the books. Don't watch the movie. The movie was awful. It was horrible. Yeah, I, I that. The movie is always that, worse. I read the first Jaws. book a long Jaws. time ago when the movie came out so that I could watch the movie. I remember seeing And it was awful. And they yeah. ruined it. They ruined the suspense thing because it's supposed to take like all of the second book before they realize they're that they're not, not actually brother, brother and sister. sister. And he like, it was like, it, that was like the first thing they gave away in that well, movie. Well, because they didn't want people to think that they were incest twins. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it, like, ruined it. You couldn't set up for another book, another movie. Yeah. They did that with something else. What was it? Beautiful Creatures, I think. They changed the ending entirely to the point where you couldn't have a second That's movie. upsetting when they do that because they want people to be able, they don't want to risk it in case the second movie doesn't get, like, greenlit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then they just absolutely change it. Like, that happened with Percy Jackson. The second, the second movie, like, has stuff happening from the fifth book. Like, they just were oh like, let's boy. jump the gun. <laughs> and it made no sense. As somebody who hadn't read the books, the movies weren't bad. But as some, no. I know everybody okay. who read the books thought they were absolutely horrible. So, yeah. like, they were really bad. Okay. Um, Aren't they doing a TV series? Yes. Like On Disney Plus. I'm excited for that. I have a pet peeve. I have lots, but shoot, <laughs> go for it. Everyone, <laughs> everyone always talks about how books are always better. And for the vast majority of cases, that is true. It's not always. But in one Not case, always. the movie is much, much better, and that is Jaws. There's a book? Yeah. Do you mean Shrek? <laughs> I bet it's, I bet it's like, really long and really descriptive, like Jurassic Park. Because you know there's a Jurassic Park book? Yeah. But it's, I read like, it. this fact. I read that. It's huge. Ugh. I, yeah, it, no, I just want to watch the dinosaurs it, eating people. 
I enjoyed that, but it was also very detailed in the way it described mm-hmm. all the bad stuff that happened. So Ooh, it was fun. It was it, it made me a bit squeamish. Um, Books that like are good and the movies are good too, or like the Harry Potter series and like Hunger Games. The Hunger Game movies be slapping. They did a really they good be job. Be slapping. I've read the first one. How have you not read all the Hunger Games books? Because I, I like they're been literally I read them like all in a they week. They are a staple. because I was because I read the first one and then I had to check out the second one. No, you have And then Jamie. and then I had to go to Walmart to get the third one because I was like, oh my god, because it's a it's like you, a cliffhanger. It's amazing. You read all of them in a week because you are a librarian. Well, no, I did this in college. Truth. Because you wanted back to when be I a had librarian. time to read. <laughs> I my. My fifth grade teacher wouldn't let me check out Hunger Games from the um, middle school library because she said that only sixth graders can check out Hunger Games books. <laughs> sixth graders? I don't, see, if you're going to limit that, I'd have been like seventh and eighth graders because it is a little, you know. She, it was she like, is she like bow and arrows people pretty good like in eyeballs and stuff. Like, it's insane. So. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. When the so guy like, gets speared through the neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. I hate when that happens. No, I love it. It's amazing. And I love the movies. I love the books. And I love Peter Malark. <laughs> oh, I love Peter Malark. He's so oh, much no. better. Oh, no. Oh, it's starting. Oh, uh, Gail can literally get on the floor and I'll stomp on him. <laughs> I would do nothing for Gail. No. Not in a million years. If Peter, like, offered me bread, I would, like, get on my knees and I'd be like, you're my savior. Like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, you haven't read the book, so you wouldn't know. I the first, okay, he's a decent guy, but what? He, first of all, there's nothing wrong with decent guy. They're hard to find. He is yeah, a dandelion okay. that I, keeps wrong. Second of all, I'm, sa- I'm saying yes. that it's good that he's a decent guy, but that's his only redeeming trait so far that I've seen. What? Peter is I've only amazing. read the first book. Peter is a wonderful, wonderful man. <laughs> Plus, he has a really good balance for her. Yeah, she's crazy. She is a little, a little bonkers. That's not her fault. It's not her fault. No. I can't. But little um, bonkers. She needed do you a know little... like everything that happens in the Hunger Games? Um, I know that they end up overthrowing the government, and that's basically. You it. don't know like any of the other plot twists? Like twice. What? Huh? A one and a half. I just said one and a half. <laughs> now we have to watch the Hunger Games. I think they're all on Hulu. Which is nice, because I think I only have, like, two of the DVDs, because I went to do that one weekend and was like, where's the rest of it? It's almost time for us to leave. You are making me want to read them very badly. Okay, Uh, spooky stories. Spooky stories, spooky stories. Halloween. Halloween is happening. Homecoming. Homecoming was good. Loved homecoming. Homecoming was very fun. (laughs) I had fun with my boyfriend. I made it into the grind circle. It was scary in there. I I watched from afar. It was (laughs) honestly terrifying. I feel like... There's, there's no good reason to be in the middle of that. If, I was it, not in the middle. I, I was, was only, outside of it, and I, I could tell just how ring. terrifying the circle <laughs> I was in the, the ring looking was. in. It was like a wrestling match in It there. was like a wrestling match. <laughs> it was like we were all spectators, and like the guys were just like this. I was like, oh, this is kind of weird, guys. Um, um, Tennis, band, theater. Band sucks, but we're having the 8th grade band night tomorrow. Tennis sucks. Oh, I knew I was going to miss the 8th grade night. i got to go home. Yeah, wow. Today's Philip's birthday. We're also doing mm-hmm. a new show. And we won't be doing it again at home. Don't you have one last home game of the season? Yeah, it's going to be senior night. Oh, mm-hmm. yes. We're going to be doing our senior show. Because we did the first show one week too long. Mm-hmm. We should have done the second show a week before. We yeah. probably could have. But she didn't want to. Because she, she wanted to do the first show for um, Medina Band Show. Mm-hmm. So well, what, um, what show are you doing this week? Like, What you got going? Our third show, we're doing Hand Clap. It's our pop show, so it's our fun <laughs> show. We're doing blinding that's... lights by the weekend. Um, <laughs> hand clap where we march in circles. Um, I'm going to miss you marching in circles? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. And, sl- and we're going to be halftime marching and b- blinding lights and doing all this cool stuff. And then we're going into this huge block for Kings and Queens by Ava Max with the 8th graders. What are the odds that you're going to hit a playoff game and do this show again? <laughs> the odds with our team right now? Yeah, aren't not they that crappy? good. No, our team is not bad. Our team not, is they're, they're, good in the Moac. They've just been doing really bad the last couple of weeks. We started off the season yeah. really I strong. I feel like they're just, they're kind of like lazy. No, people got sick, and then people got hurt, and now they don't care anymore. I'm like, uh, Marshall keeps throwing these awful games. pass 
glasses. At least we were in the whole game. Last week, nobody could catch anything. Everything, like, went right between their hands. No, I'm like, what are you doing, Andre? This is your job. Like, Andre, see, you are the see, catcher. I just didn't pay attention because you are I was the enjoying wide receiver. my friends at the homecoming game. You're supposed to receive. <laughs> Anyways, I have to be invested because I'm in the band and we play when they do good things. So I have to be like, what, when they do bad things because then we don't play. <laughs> That is much less fun. Then you have to learn what the bad things are. Um, tennis is good. We won the MOAC for three years, our third year running. Yay! Um, nice. Sectionals was today. I'm assuming the people made it onto districts. Um, probably. Seeing as um, we had a couple teams that were seeded number one. So mm -hmm. hopefully we had some good stuff going on there. Um, theater, uh, the Oliver Show. <laughs> you should do that. I should? Yeah. <coughs> you mean chorus. <laughs> I I don't know if I have the greatest voice for that. You don't. That's why you're in the chorus. That's why you're in the chorus. No uh, one can hear you. Uh, hmm. Let's leave it at that. You should do <laughs> Oliver. Okay. I guess I'm doing Oliver. And now. you should read the Hunger Games. And I, I, I should will, definitely. I read will the Hunger be Games. reading the Hunger Games. You gotta read you, that book that we got you from SEO first because you can't yeah. renew it. You have convinced me. I will be reading the Hunger Games, is... which I have all of the books of. You you haven't even read them and you own them. <laughs> yes. I own all of them, and I haven't read them. How did you get to the end of the first one and not be, like, immediately, like, I have to read the second okay, one? Okay, I, yeah. I was very invested. I started on the second one, but I read all my books in study hall, and it got so boring just reading and not doing anything else that I couldn't do it anymore. And so I got, that like... That was my favorite thing about study hall. That is not hall. boring. That is the best part about study hall. Except that one year. What year was it? I think it was senior year. My senior year. Um... We had such a small study hall that we all went back to Mr. Albert's room. Different Mr. Albert, because I'm from Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Mine was, I think, more well-liked than yours. Um, yeah, it's but easy. anyway, mm -hmm. he, was, he was a nice guy. Anyway, there were so few of us. It was a small study hall anyway, and then once everybody got their year-long passes to like the home ec room or the art room or the wherever, you know, mm -hmm. there were like six of us. Yeah, people just leave study halls and they're like, um, we're going to the choir room instead. Yeah, <laughs> like there were six of us. So yeah. we played movies all year. We watched like... Um, Somebody in Ted's, who are they? Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, thank you. Bill and Ted's, like, Adve adventure. Uh, adventure. Like, we watched Biodome. We watched, we watched all kinds of stupid stuff. I read, but, I haven't seen like, we watched all kinds of, of stuff. I haven't seen Biodome's so kind of funny. Wait, I, I've heard of Biodome. Yeah. Like, the two idiots end up in the Biodome, yeah, and, like, yeah. it completely ruins everything. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, it's funny. That was a good one. All right. We should probably wrap We this up. should, because we gotta yeah. go to, a, we gotta get downstairs and get everything organized for TAC. I think we gotta move furniture. Oh. Mm. Yeah. But anyway. So. All right. Well, thank you. This thank is good. It worked out listening. real nice. Don't forget to comment Beetlejuice three times, and to comment if you're from Cambodia and you're watching. Uh, yeah. The comments will be turned off, but don't forget to do it. <laughs> No, I fixed it so that they, you have comments now. Wait, they were only turned off on that first one. But the one that we said comment down below? <laughs> well, there was a second one you said comment down below. I think we titled everyone Alexis was in comment below because it's the only thing you say. Comment down yeah. below if you watch the other videos with me in it. <laughs> comment below about your entire life story. Comment down um, below if you've read The Hunger Games. Because I need to know if like Sam is alone and being the only person in the world who hasn't enjoyed The Hunger Games. I probably am. They're so good. It's, you're and then, like, a, the I more heard. you read about the Hunger Games, the more you realize that that is the blueprint for why a dystopian. <laughs> yep. The blueprint! I, I will read, you read them. Have you read Divergent? Have you read Maze Runner? No. Okay, good. Because if read you've read Divergent though. and you haven't read Hunger Games, I was about to be, like, start throwing hands. Because, like, literally Hunger Games yeah. is the better Divergent. Mm -hmm. It is, yes. I never did finish that series. Divergent's ending was sad. Like, stupid sad. I'm like... Well, you know why I, I didn't I finish it? Because I was still subbing when it came out, and I was going to do it. Yeah. I think I bought it. And it everything. was a stupid But, like, book. somebody let slip what happened, and I was like, well, I'm not reading that now. No, the whole Allegiant <laughs> book was stupid. <laughs> like, Divergent? Cool. Fun. It could have ended there. They could have escaped, and she could have left it there. They escaped. It's up to you now, but Insurgent was stupid, and Allegiant was stupid, and mm -hmm. then she dies, so it doesn't even matter. Exactly, it's awful. I don't think I even saw the last movie. No. I yeah. didn't watch the first two, but I don't think I saw the last one. The second movie was also bad. The first movie had a good soundtrack, though. Mm -hmm. Run, bully, run. Yeah, I just can't do a sad ending. It, it's hard for me. I, I love a good happy ending. Uh, well, well, the Hunger Games has a, a, a semi-happy ending. 
It's a happy ending. It's a happy it's a ending, ending, but there's ending. a funky chunk in the middle to get to the Okay, well, ending. see, that's fine. If it, if, if it, like, if We have to go. We have to turn through. this off. We can talk about this up once this is yes. off. Yeah, yes. okay. so let's go. Let's um, go. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.